Bonjour et soyez les bienvenus à What is School of Languages. Today we shall learn something about leisure. What do you do at your leisure time? Parler de pasteur, talk about your past or the leisure time, what you do at your leisure time. Objectif, à la fin de cette leçon, l'élève sera en mesure d'identifier le câble du passe-temps, de décrire son passe-temps. Qu'est-ce que tu fais pendant ton temps libre? What do you do at your spare time or at your leisure time? In describing what you do at your spare time, you need to locate the tense. Look at the tense, sorry. Add another tense to your answer. Temps libre, spare time. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire pendant ton temps libre? What do you like doing during your spare time? Kindly have a look at this suggestive answer. Pendant mon temps libre, j'aime lire des livres et sortir avec mes amis, mais quelquefois, je préfère ne rien faire et rester à la maison. During my spare time, I like reading books or go out with my friends, but sometimes I like not doing nothing and stay at home. Je fais aussi du sport régulièrement. I also do sports regularly. Par exemple, j'adore regarder tous les épisodes de ma série télé préférée en une soirée. For example, I adore watching the telenovelas of my favorite channel in the evening. J'ai regardé les, The Big Bang Theory le week-end dernier. C'était très drôle. I watched The Big Bang Theory last weekend. It was very amusing or very funny. Let's look at this words here that I am highlighting. Now, we are going to have a look at them in details. So, lessons and structure, grammar, adverbs of time. We have pendant, quelquefois. And that means during, quelquefois, sometimes. Possessive adjective, that is more, my, which is masculine singular. Conjunction, we have a, a, me, that is aunt, bet. Note that we can say, je préfère ne rien faire. I don't like doing, I don't like doing. Preposition, we have preposition like avec, which means with. Verb tense. J'aime, I like, je préfère, I prefer, je fais, I do, j'adore, I adore. They are all in present tense. And passé composé, j'ai regardé, I watched. Note, you need to put these grammatical points, conjunction, adjectives, adverbs, etc., in the correct verb tense. In forming sentences for essay to be consistent, for your essay to be consistent. So it means that if you want your essay to be consistent, you need these grammatical points, that is the adjectives, the conjunctions, the adverbs, and the correct verb tense. It means that you need to choose the correct verb tense or the correct tense of the verb. Let's have a look at this practice here, this activity. Now, we have a series of questions that have been asked for you. Décrivez ce que vous faites pendant votre temps libre. Ces questions suivantes vous aideront. Votre essai doit être entre 60 et 80 mots. Describe what you do at your spare time. The following questions will help you. The composition should be between 60 and 80 words. These are the questions. Quel est ton temps, quand est ton temps libre? What, when is your spare time? Quelles sont les activités que tu fais pendant ton temps libre? What activities do you do during your spare time? Qui visite tu pendant ton temps libre? Who do you visit during your spare time? Quelle est la durée de ton temps libre? How long does your spare time last? Comment te sens-tu pendant ton temps libre? How do you feel during your spare time? Comment est-il nécessaire d'avoir un temps? Is it necessary to have a spare time? Aimes-tu rester à la maison pendant ton temps libre? Do you like to stay at home during your spare time? The, you provide the answer here, but bet you have told you that we are not going to provide all the answers for you. You need to work on your own as well. So go below the page where we have the space for the question. Write your answer, type your answer there and submit for us to assist you. Thank you. Now, indicate a moment specific. You have to 
indicate a specific moment. How do you do that? Indicate moment specific. Classel as expression suivant. You have to classify or arrange the following expressions. L'année dernière, ce soir, cet après-midi, ce matin, aujourd'hui, hier. L'année dernière is last year, this evening, this afternoon, this morning, today, and yesterday. Actuel et passé. That is actual, today, and past. Cette semaine, that is, this week is actual, is present. La semaine dernière, that is last week. And actual and passé, too, we have cette semaine, la semaine dernière, ce soir, la soirée dernière, cet après-midi, hier, ce matin, aujourd'hui. These are the expression of uh, present, and the, those on the right are the expression for the past. Now, identify the following sentences. Ce matin, j'ai dormi à 10h30. Hier, yeah, je suis resté au lit. Ce matin, j'ai dormi à 10h30. This morning, I slept up to 10.30 a.m. Hier, yeah, je suis resté au lit. Yesterday, I stayed in bed. Ce soir, je suis... Ce soir, je suis allé dans un restaurant près de la plage. This evening, I went to a restaurant close to the beach. Cet après-midi, je suis sorti de l'hôtel à 3 heures et j'ai marché sur la plage. This afternoon, I went out of the hotel around 3 p.m. At, at, at 3 heures, around 3 a.m. And I walk at the beach. Ce soir, nous avons dansé après le dîner. This evening, we dance after the dinner. Ce matin, Thomas a téléphoné. This morning, Thomas made a phone call or called. Hier, je suis parti toute la journée. J'ai visité deux musées. Yesterday, I went the whole day and I visited two museums. You see, party ends with E. It means that the person talking is a female. Aujourd'hui, j'ai pris le bus. Today, I boarded the bus. Ils sont arrivés hier matin. They reached yesterday morning. Point lang. Always use the passé composé to talk about past events. Here I'm showing you like always for the past event, you have to use the passé composé. Observe et complete. J'ai marché sur la plage. That is, I walk on the beach. J'ai dormi jusqu'à 10h30. I slept up to 10.30 a.m. J'ai pris le bus. I boarded the bus. They are all passé composé. Je n'ai pas couru. I didn't run. They are all passé composé. Je n'ai pas fait les courses. I didn't make any shopping. Je suis resté au lit. I stayed in bed. Je suis allé dans un petit resto. I went to a small restaurant. Ils sont arrivés hier. They reached yesterday. Je suis sorti de l'hôtel à 3 heures. I went out of the hotel at 3 o'clock. Ils sont venus en vacances. They came on vacation. In the present, study this. Verb avoir ou être. In present tense, you have in present tense plus the verb or the past participle, participe passé. J'ai and parler. Je suis allé. Avoir, you said, j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, il, elle, zone. So this is the present of the verb avoir. Être, you say, je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. Nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Now, you see the verb ending in ER. When you want to give the past participle, you just drop the R and you add accent again on the A. That is, for example, parler. The verb in IR, you just drop the R and then you keep the I, that is fini. You don't add anything less. The verb in RE, RE, you just drop the RE and you bring you, that is like vendre. It is vendu. Être, the past, past participle of être is été, and the past participle of avoir is eu. Faire, the past participle is fait. Fait. Pouvoir, the past participle is pu. Vouloir, the past participle is voulu. So all these are what we use to uh, describe a spare time. Thank you for watching. The next lesson we are going to have to look at passé composé. Claire, look at passé composé. Merci. Au revoir. À la prochaine. Bye bye.